In this training video, we will review the MP3 quality settings which you will encounter as you use Song Surgeon version 4. There are several places within Song Surgeon where you might encounter this. The two common ones will be when you rip a file and when you export a file. And there may be a few other places, but these are the two prominent ones. So let's just demonstrate. So let's go ahead and use the export command so we can demonstrate what you're going to encounter. Export, say entire song. Go down here to the Save As type, and it's when you save as an MP3 that you're going to encounter this MP3 dialog window. I'm just going to put test in here. And this dialog window is something that is part of your Windows operating system. It's not something we have control of. If we did have control over it, we'd probably simplify it significantly. But since we don't, we don't. So I need to walk you through these things here. First of all, your format that you're going to save it, it will be as an MPEG-3 layer, as it shows here. That's the default, and you really don't have any other options there. Down here, when you click this little drop-down window, you have many options, and this is where it can become confusing. 18K, 20K, 32K, 48K, and when we look at this, it goes all the way up here to 320K. Now, so th there are several things going on. First of all, we have a bitrate setting, 320 being the highest, and that means the highest quality, and 18K being the lowest. Um, you never will want to save anything this low. At least I don't envision anyone doing that because the quality is going to be pretty awful. But typically, for most MP3 files, people typically start at 128, and they go upward. And the larger the file, the better the quality, but the larger the file size. So at 128, you're going to have approximately half or slightly less than half the file size of 320. And you're going to have pretty decent quality, but you might begin to hear some subtle things. Probably not for most people. What I normally do is something sort of in between these. I like to use 192 here, and I think that's a good mid-range setting, which gives me reasonably small file sizes, but yet high quality. And it's good enough quality that I can't hear the difference between it and 320. So that's the first thing that you need to be aware of, this kilobit setting here. Uh, and by the way, that's the same thing that's reflected back here, 23 kilobits per second. It's the same thing, it's 192 kilobits here. The other thing, and this is probably equally important, is the Hertz setting, this middle setting here, 44, 1, 48, 32. As you scroll through this list, you'll see you can go down to 22,050, 16,000. You can actually get down here even to some lower settings. Now, this is important for you to remember because you should try to select the same frequency rate or hertz that you see displayed up here on the song for which you're working. So in this case we're at 441 and that's what we should try to select. Now you, ca you can select something else but it's going to cause some problems for you unless you know what you're doing. So if you know something about frequency rate settings then, then by all means dive into this, have at it, and, and, and go ahead and select what you want. But if you don't I strongly urge you to select whatever the frequency rate is that you see up here. And in most cases, 95% of the cases, it's probably going to be 44.1 if you're dealing with standard CD quality digital music. If you work in the recording field or you have some uh, special audio files that you've purchased or have been created, they might contain something else, different settings. You might see a 48,000 hertz, for example. But normally it's going to be this 44.1. So what I do, and this is only for me, I select 192 kilobits per second and 44.1, and that's sort of my default. And what you can do is actually you can set that up here. So if you want to save this as your default, so you don't have to sort through this list every time, you go up here, you select Save As. It will then prompt you to give it a name. We can just say My Default. Click OK, and then it's saved it there. So that means then that the next time you go to export or use any other command in which you're going to 
use an MP3, and that little window opens up, you can simply go to this drop down box, go to my default, and it will automatically autofill, and you'll have the pre selected values pop into this window and it'll be ready for you to use. So that is this MP3 dialog box. It's very important for you to understand that because if you get especially the wrong frequency right here, when you go to play it back, it's not going to sound right. Now, one other thing before we leave this topic, and it's a shift away from MP3s, but it still has to do with file quality settings. And that is that, again, when you export or when you rip and you can choose the file format, um, there are a number of these, whether it's AAC or M4A, uh, even WMA, in which you choose these other formats, you will also be prompted and you will see this type of a bitrate dialog box. Now in this case, you don't have any options with regard to the frequency, this 44-1 number. But you do have bitrate settings here, and again, the same thing applies whether it's a WMA file or an M4A or an AAC or an MP3. The higher the bitrate, the larger the file size, and the higher the quality. So depending on what you're doing, you know, you probably want to be somewhere down here in the middle. Um, and again, that's your preference. If you've never encountered this before to be safe I would select 192 if you know what you're doing and feel comfortable you can choose whatever you want to here so that will conclude this training video on mp3 file settings as well as the file settings for other types of files that you're going to find within song surgeon version 4